Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Diddy Can Country here on the Heavy Bass Channel. Last time, we went for the first three levels and now we enter the first underwater level of the area. Lockjaw's Locker. This is a very infamous level with a very infamous theme. And yes, you may have noticed it's bloody bright. I had to. This pretty much was, you know, kind of sucked when it had low saturation, low lighting. You couldn't tell which is which. Which was fucking terrible. Alas, though, things are still the same. Anyway, there are some coins to collect. Uh, the currency of the game, banana coins, is abundant since we used up quite a bit of it. But anyway, Lockjaw's Locker is the is the first of these underwater levels, and it gives you a gimmick. It, ra it the water goes up every time. Also, since the water is now up, we can literally go up places as well. So it may pay, may be worth your time to go back and actually go get some, uh, go back and get the coins if you couldn't get to them before. But anyway, we we'll reach this one. So yeah, Diddy is the prime. Ex the Diddy is the best swimmer, followed by uh, obviously Dixie, and then we go for this bit. So yeah, we picked. So we're cashing in on the banana coins real early. So as I said you before, you look in the right. You look at nooks and crannies. You'll find this. Anyway, this is the titular enemy, and this is on guard. On guard is not the oh, on guard is the other re f animal friend that returned. Surprisingly, on guard is very popular in this series, alongside Rambi. Which makes me think I wish, wish personally, re on guard would come back for the um, on guard would come back for uh, for the uh, for, for the new trilogy, which is basically what we see right now. So anyway. We have a creme coin to find, and these are mazes. Yes, these are mazes, and this is a maze of absolute confusion and shit, so... You probably think to yourself, it's not that hard. Yeah, it kinda is, if, if, you, know, if you don't know what you're doing, but anyway. You have a time limit, and you have to get your way, find your way to the creme coin, which is a complete mess. Yeah, as you may have noticed, World 2 it starts to... World 2 will increase the difficulty. This is, of course, World 1, the safe... Safe mentioned. So, we will be going through other worlds as well, which actually is kind of more interesting as it were, so... You lose lot. You lo Anyway, that's a thing with... That thing with the giant jaw, that's Lockjaw. And this is his locker, so this is the titular level, Lockjaw's locker. And seriously... On guard really has a terrible hitbox. I I may have no I've just noticed. It's not particularly very good, but anyway, he doesn't have a short level because we're going to be swimming for the rest of the way. So uh, that's really about it. Most of it is just about swimming and collecting cog letters. We've already we're about three in. So also we have these starfish or star ninjas. They're pretty bad. Anyway, here's another on guard. Another box containing on guard. On guard effectively takes out the ninjas. Also, more cramp, more banana coins, because we need to have a good currency when it comes to banana coins. As you may have noticed there. Also, there are some real devious tricks in this game, which which this game is going to teach you later on, because that's because some of the more collectibles are hidden in various numerous areas. For instance, if we automatically head right towards here, we get ourselves the hero coin. Just utilizing uh, on guard specialty moves there. There we go. Now we just head towards that. Get the bananas, and then when we do so, get the extra life. And Diddy K wraps a few beats and caps a few hoes. Seriously, with a he has pe he has a peanut but he has peanut guns. If you don't think that's possible, it is. Anyway, moving on to top sale trouble. We'll, we'll be meeting our first our newest animal buddy, Rattly. Rattly the snake just basically does what Rattly does. Goes bought bounces if you bounces high. Seriously, that's what Ratty does. He's very potent as well. He's also a very pow he's a very powerful ally. Unfortunately, he doesn't make a comeback in the third one. To everyone's fucking confusion. Then again, if you think about it, Ratty is Ratley is actually just a if you think about it, he's just a snake that jumps high. 
obvious replacement for, say, Rinky the Wrinkly, Rinky the Winky the Wrinkly the Frog, who wasn't that popular to begin with. And if you think he was popular, <laughs> the frog? Nah, he wasn't. Doesn't jump as high as Ratley does. Ratley does everything right. Anyway, we have another another bonus area. This is an easy one. Use Rat. You either use Ratley or don't use Ratley, but. Uh, Practically uses skills. Rackley is very potent because he can kill zingers, especially the red ones, and he can bounce off them. His specialty skill is you hold down the A button as he jumps higher. That's really about it. He is very good at momentum as well, so there there are bonuses. There is a level coming up that does feature Ratty. He, he kills the giant burly ones, but that's about it. And we have banana coins here, and we get another banana coin there. So, as you can see, these are zingers. You can kill them with boxes, or ex you can't kill the red ones, because the red ones are literally vulnerable, unless you have explosive barrels. For some reason, explosive barrels kills the red ones, or I can't remember they don't, but I remember they are pretty much. Uh, if, you give a pay if you give attention to this one, essentially, the the rat, the, uh, this is, the, the, the entire game, this is their home. The zingers. What, the entire world? No, the, the island that uh, King K. Rule comes from. That is the home of the zingers. You're probably the reason why uh, King K. Rule has a fuck ton of zingers in his army. You're just wondering why. Anyway, that was an easy. That was an easy. Uh, I mentioned before, Diddy has the ability to climb up uh, rope ladders very fast, so. Get Pay that to everyone's mention is very fast. Also, that's an easy creme coin. That's an easy hero coin there. So pretty much we got everything here in this level. In fact, there's not much that I can say here. We reached the end of the level already. Uh, we can wait for the G, but we're not going to wait for the G. Instead, Diddy Cobb will fat, drop some fat G rhymes and shoot at them peanut butter, peanut, peanut shell guns. So, next up we have Funky, but of course we're going to go straight into Swanky's Bonus Bonanza. He's only been in this version, he's never shown up in other games, he's just there for you to collect extra lives. Should you want to do the level. But anyway, he gives you a free game. So, his name is Swanky. Next question is the first enemy is a furry rat. That's the first enemy. Area Island is, is called Gangplank Galleon. We get an extra life, as you can saw there. Now, this is where it gets increased with coins. What button do you press to run? You press the Y button. Pay attention. First level of the game is Pirate Panic. And the enemy boss of Kid does Donkey Kong is Captain K. Rule. Or King K. Rule. Who is he actually known as? In the first level, how many windows does he have? Now, you have to be very observational. It's four. First rigging level, Main Brace Mayhem. And the first letter is that you get, is that you solve with a gun. First two of these questions you have to have very good observation skills, which is something that they tend to throw a few curveballs at. Anyway, Funky, of course, is Funky Funky Dude. He's been he's not only he's been a very in, very big impact on the series. He's been a he's been a character in MK he's been a he's been a Mario character in MK Wii. He's been one of the more popular requested characters, and he might be coming back in the future one day. That's probably if the game is still updating. Anyway, we go straight to Kong College, and then we can save our game. Few flaws that would if you saved once from here is that it now costs two two banana coins, but we get a forty percent you know, increase of that. So, it's a bit too much the brightness saturation. A bit too much, honestly. And, uh, we're heading up now to the boss, Crow's Nest. Seriously, that's a giant cr that's a giant vulture. What the frick? Unfortunately, he's the easiest boss in the whole game. Also, the music is fantastic. One of the best boss themes ever. Uh, this and pretty much DK see, as you know, the, the, the Donkey Kong series being handled by Retro. 
And then we got that. We got the Wii version of the game, Wii version of Donkey Kong Country Returns. That was a success. Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, the sequel to a very popular game, which actually worked out. Even though everyone else knows that Retro was the one that made the Metro Prime series. And, uh, <coughs> Diddy King! Can't help it, returning gag comes back. So, we're now on to the Creme Cro Crocodile Island, and next, our first level, our next world, is Crocodile Cauldron. We're going to do that next part. See you all guys then. Bye for now.